Hi everybody, we're back. Wendy and Pam's lights, here yeah. we are. Our lights are back on and <laughs> shining brightly. Shining bright, which they are, and we just hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I mean, what did you do, Pam, on Saturday? Um, Saturday it was really nice, like, you know, following the last two weeks we've had, we had a nice day out at the seaside. I thought, what better way to try and, you know, start to get back on track a little bit and we all went off to the coast we went to Hemsby actually and had a lovely uh, walk up the water's edge listening to the waves and it was absolutely beautiful and not too many people which is <laughs> which is always good so but did you put your feet in the sea Pam? too right I did it, made, it reminded me of when we went to our little uh, caravan break at Scrappy Wendy so yeah too right that would be my shoes and socks it? were off and <laughs> the others walked on the sand but no I needed to put my feet in the water so oh, that was wonderful yeah. So, okay, not did you? The world you know, it was absolutely beautiful and like yeah very uplifting and i think just just what we ordered for the weekend following the and you went we down didn't you with your daughter as well yeah i you? went with uh, my daughter and her boyfriend and uh, your Nick. partner yeah, Nick, yeah. so you? yeah it was yeah. absolutely beautiful so what was your weekend what did you do tell uh, me well i had quite a surprise um my daughter she booked up to take me out for a meal and we went up to Bill's at the lakes and my little grandson had a cousin. My granddaughter Anastasia come down and surprised me. So, and my daughter paid for the meal. So, <laughs> it was lovely. It was yeah, very what a lovely surprise. We both had good weekends, yeah, didn't yeah, we? Which yeah. was really lovely. And we want to talk to you today. Um, I feel I'll start off with the soul a little bit because... I feel it is important to always keep your soul free and I think, you know, over the years doing my work, I think I was very privileged. I think I had a mum and dad who always let me make my own choices as a child and they always gave me independence and my mum and dad let me be the person I wanted to be rather than the person they wanted me to be. and. I found great strength in that from being young. Uh, I have always had a lot of independence in me and I know my spirit and my mind are completely freed off and it's a wonderful gift to have. And I think over the years, you know, you see a lot of people where their free will is took away from them. And as I always remember, children are individuals and I think it's important from an early age that they get to make those choices of the things they like and it gives them added strength. I think always keep those little spirits and souls free and you won't go far wrong. And what's your opinion on that, Pam? I think like you say, Wendy, to, to be free and let them make their own minds up, let them make their own choices and decisions. They, they know they know what they feel happy with what what they want to do and it's like you know we all come into the world as a free spirit don't we and we it, it's like as Wendy says it's so important to keep that free for all your life but different things can happen and change that but also I think speaking as parents and I think on our spiritual pathway I mean I certainly have learned that what you think you are probably doing, you know, with your children's best interests at heart as a mum, you know, it's like you're not getting down from the table till you've eaten a bit of that. But I think learning what I've learned on my pathway, I know that taking that approach, although I've seen it as like a mum and wanting my children to eat something, A, they will never go hungry anyway, but also blockages that can be caused by kind of making them sit there until they've eaten something so i've, I've took uh, blockages out of people where you know there's been a lot of psychological blockages and i've found that when, as you take each blockage out it can go back to a young age and they've been forced to do something against their will and that can really block them and cause them psychological blockages so keeping your free will even as a, a little girl or a little boy, it's really, really important. And always encourage them, them to make their own choices in life. Mm. Um, and, you know, they will go forward with a great sense of independence and a lot of well-being in them. But we also want to talk a little bit about the chakras, mm. don't we, and mental health. Yeah, That's really and important. also what I wanted to say, just touching on that, what you're saying about let them make their own choices and that, that is um, so important as well because I think they can 
it can have like you say psychological problems on them but I think as we know children are all individuals they're all beautiful little souls and that they're all different every one of them and like what one child excels in another one's not going to and I think recognizing that you know they are all different they all develop at different paces and you I know. also think they're taste buds I mean you know it's like taste buds sometimes can take a long while to open mm. and I think you know also recognize that you know and it's like if you tell children they can't have something they're going to want it even more and I think give them tr the choices of what they can have and you know children are very intelligent mm -hmm. and I think you know let them choose for themselves some of the things they want even like some of the foods they want to eat it, it's all an important part of the development but also to the mind and it's also it? an experience like yeah. you say if your child wants to try a lemon then give them a slice of lemon let them try it let them experience yeah. it and make their own mind up but i think as well looking at it from another point of view parents equally uh, probably under pressure because there's so much stigma and guidelines to what your child should or shouldn't be doing at certain ages and i think a lot of parents perhaps feel a bit pressured into that whereas just enjoy and accept your child and they will all develop at their own rate you know they they excel in different things you know one child may be crawling at, at four months five months and another one might not do it until later on there is no rule is there they are all different and like you say yeah. what one excels in another will excel in something different and so. i think even when my granddaughter at an early age i mean she used to love to paint and i've got all these washable off paints and <laughs> good job they were washable they uh, she wouldn't have done it otherwise and uh, I used to encourage all the creativity in her and I mean she used to paint my patio set with flowers mm. and she'd paint the trees in the garden and it was lovely and I mean all her creativity opened up in her at the age of 14 and she's worked with creativity That's hasn't right, she yeah. and she's done extremely well for herself now so I think encouraging all that freedom in them at an early age it's so so important but what and they're doing they're actually expressing themselves aren't they and you know perhaps parents would think oh i don't want all that mess but you know what is it a little bit of a cloth and clearing up afterwards but you're actually giving that child you know the opportunity to express themselves and be that free spirit which as we're talking about is so important isn't it i do and i i think you know i have very strong-willed children and you know, I think they get a lot of their free will from their mum. <laughs> She's I a mean, very, very so. determined lady, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, she? With great strength, then, I With yes. great strength. Yeah. But, you know, I always encourage that in individuals, anyhow. I think mm. to keep your own sense of purpose, your own ID, and your own free will is equally as important for the future. Um, and about the chakras, me and Pam do believe in them. We, we've got a real passion for the chakras, haven't we, Wendy? We have, and I think, like you say, too much energy around the two top chakras can lead to a lot of mental health problems. Um, if your throat chakra is blocked, then you're going to have excessive energy on the mm. top two chakras, mm. and the energy can't flow through because we have seven chakras. They're all energy points. And all the energy comes in through us, through our chakras. So say if the two top ones are blocked, that can also cause too much energy around the head. If the throat one's blocked, the energy can't get through to the rest of your body. If your heart chakra's blocked, you're going to have troubles all in that area, around the breast, around the chest. So the plexus is going to link in to blocked emotions, emotions sacral, problems, that's yeah. all your hormonal yeah, things. Yeah, and, and your sexual organs and so on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then your base one, that is your grounding. So equally, each one of those chakras, they can cause major problems. Mm. Um, I've seen pictures of the chakras. I've had people come to me and they've been to spiritual workshops and they've had photos took of the chakras too and they're absolutely amazing and their energy fields that spin round in us and they represent beautiful colours. Each chakra is a different colour. You tell them the colours. That's um, right and it, it kind of relates to the rainbow as well which is something that's very special to us isn't it? Very which special. links into uh, Jesus doesn't it? Does. It? it links into yeah. a greater force doesn't yeah. it? Yeah so um, like you start at the top on the crown chakra it's a beautiful purple isn't it? It the, is. the violet 
um, the mind's eye, which is your uh, psychic center, which links you into that spiritual knowledge and awareness, isn't it? Okay. That's an indigo. Then you've got the throat chakra, which is a blue color, isn't That's it? Right. That relates. Um, if you go down to the heart, you've got um, green. Some people will also say pink that links in with the heart, the heart don't yeah, they? So, so pink and green. And if you do research into the chakras, you, you will see that there are one or two colors, but quite often it links in with the rainbow. Go Going down to your um, your solar plexus, um, yellows we've got oranges. yellows, yellows, and with your um, sacral, we've got oranges, and then red at the base of the chakra uh, is your base chakra. So those colours all link in, and, and it is so important. Each one has a vital role, and and if one of them doesn't spin and go around freely to allow that energy to flow, it can cause problems in that area. And also, it's like I've found since I've been doing my healing, a lot of people have trapped energy in them. And like when they have a spiritual healing or Reiki, you can open up the energy field. We know how to open the energy fields up and how to close them. And they're lovely relax relaxation. Uh, mm. We don't have to touch you to do it. We can actually send the healing in from two or three inches. Yeah above the chakras and just to have your chakras aligned it can make so much difference to you i mean usually shock sudden movement are the things that put the chakras out of alignment mm -hmm. and i've had people who've had the chakras in they've had a shock or had a bad fall and they come back and they say i have really noticed a difference since my chakras have been out of alignment so again we align them and put them back in and I do believe and I hope in years to come that children I think pregnant women I'd love to see them given That's right. we talk Reiki. About that, don't we? I'd love to see all children when they're first born because that is the life force the chakras are the natural life force and it is so important those chakras turn and I think I would love to see in years to come that people, when they've given birth to babies, that they do have a Reiki to make sure their chakras are in alignment. Again, all the tumbles and the playground fights and the falls they have at school, or even some of these high rise um, fairground rides and everything, they can put the chakras out. And my belief is that if children had a Reiki treatment at birth, a Reiki treatment once a year, all through their lives, I think we could. When you think bring... how much of the men mental health problems, yeah. which are what are labelled as mental health problems, and I think children within schools are kind of, you know, given diagnosis of something, aren't they? Where quite possibly it is just simply that their chakras are not aligned properly or spinning yeah. properly, isn't it? I and my beliefs are that. We live in this century and why have we got so many major health problems? Why is everyone awaiting all these operations? You know, disease has been wiped out and, you know, we should be a healthy nation now and we're not. Like I say, I've not been doctors for 41 years, but that is because those chakras are all within in me. It's your belief, isn't it, it as is, well? And, yeah. and like you say, we've, it's such... A beautiful experience to have a Reiki treatment isn't it there's no medical intervention it literally all that healing energy is transmitted through our hands isn't it Wendy yeah and, and I think good. doctors have a good place I think you know we couldn't be without a doctor I think it takes years for them to train mm. and I always show respect to doctors because I've had people come to me and if I think they do need to see a doctor I do send them so you know I just hope that the medical profession will open up more to realise what a difference uh, opening the chakras can make to a person's life. And I think, and I don't just say it, I know it, that if everyone worked with Reiki, I think mental health, I think the hospitals, I do believe that we could get all the figures down to as low as between 20 and 30%. Which is a massive decrease, isn't it, it in what yeah. the figures are now. And I do hope that one day the system will allow for healers like me and Pam with our true belief mm. to work alongside with them and, mm. you know, and that doctors recognise the importance of that and welcome that in because it could change people's lives. 
I mean, I saw a cyst when I was doing a Reiki on someone. I saw a cyst forming and I did send that lady to doctors. And although they couldn't see it then, three months later, she'd been diagnosed with an inch cyst. And I think that saved her life. So I did send her when I knew she needed it. But I did see the energy forming around that. So, you know, there is a lot in the healing there's an awful lot in mental health to do with the chakras and I think even when people suffer from paranormal I believe that if this gateway of knowledge is the chakra on her forehead that is our imagination that is their escapism that is where we go with their mind's eye and if that's blocked then and that's not open then you're going to have all those bad thoughts and feelings mm. come in so I do believe, as I say, the chakras are so vital in mental health. And that's something that we really feel passionate about and we would love to see it brought into, um, you know, like the, the medical profession and used. As Wendy says, we do respect what the doctors and the, and the nurses do within the hospitals and there is a need for that. Of course there is. But equally, it would be so, it would be so nice to see them open up and you know open arms and, and allow us to come in with what we do um and you know they both they both work and i think you know it could probably cut down all those waiting lists at the hospitals as well you know to to have that reiki treatment and you know i've spoken to wendy before we feel really passionate about the reiki and i i would love to see it um brought into the midwifery course like you say as working along with um, the pregnant ladies when they're at their antenatal things to have a reiki treatment and also when you think of how traumatic childbirth can be and labor can be for, for both the mother and that baby as it you know coming down and into the world um, that is so traumatic for them and I think if that was part of the midwifery course to have those chakras stopped you know how to have those chakras checked sorry not stop we don't want that to happen no. have them checked to know that you know they're all doing what they should be doing and that universal life force is started up how many babies might that save going into the special care unit you know just to know that that is taken care and of and I, I believe like there's a lot of children out there with uh, diagnosed with cancers at an early age but unless that life force so those chakras start spinning when those children are born it can lead to a lot of complications mm -hmm. so you know i i do believe 100 percent in what i work with what my beliefs are and we've both seen how reiki has made a difference to yeah people's most lives, definitely we? i mean yeah. you know wendy has taught me all i know on my spiritual pathway and i thank her from my heart from you know for that but I think I didn't know about the chakras and the importance of them, but I certainly do now, as, as do my family, you know, and, you know, just I'm going to say as an example, Wendy, when, when Nick took that phone call about my little grandson. That's right. And I, I, I came to Wendy on that afternoon of having that news. I was in a really bad place and Wendy helped me enormously. And Nick came to pick me up and Wendy knew straight away the, imp the impact of that call had stopped all of his chakras turning. And Nick actually said, didn't he? He said, that's exactly how I feel, is that everything, everything has stopped. stopped. And had you not put those back in for him, he would have become ill with him. Yeah, that, that could have led to something maturity. really, really terrible. Yeah. So, you know, I thank God and I thank Wendy for, you know, giving me the knowledge that that she's given me and, and and thank God for allowing me to be able to do that treatment on Nick and he, they, they all notice a difference I always do it on my family when they need it don't I Wendy yeah so like you say me and Pam we just want to pass all that knowledge on to all of you out there and what we say is real what we experience has been real in the past and you know I feel you know the doctors the hospitals you know, the way the figures are going on with all the waiting lists, with mental health, with everything, there are alternatives that everyone can look to. And I'd say mm. to everyone, don't be afraid of looking to alternatives because at the end of the day, it's the lives and the people we help that count. That is the most important That's thing. Right. And how we do that and the difference we make is the most important thing. So I do hope in the future that, you know, the medical profession will open up more to the healers that can make a difference to people's lives 
especially those chakras and all of you looking get those chakras checked believe yes. me get get on the net find exactly where they're located i mean wendy and i have told you but see them on the diagram see the colors of them and get them checked because i think they'll be surprised won't they wendy yeah, what a difference even, they actually having, make. even having one or two out can throw you off balance mm. and you might not feel yourself but not realize why get all seven in and hey ho watch <laughs> out world anything's possible isn't it watch yeah. out world the, uni the universe can bring in anything that they want can't they they can so mm. we hope you've enjoyed this coffee and this chat with us and like I say me and Pam are off to the coast tomorrow aren't we Pam we are yes we've got another day at the seaside I'm really looking forward to we're, that we're going to pick my son up and we're going to take him down the coast for the day and it's going to blow some more cobwebs away yeah, yeah. and we're even going to put our feet in the sea again <laughs> too right that's what we do and it's lovely so uplifting and you can't beat that sea air can no, you and it's lovely talking to you all hope you got a lot out of this I, I think hope... that was very informative Wendy and I think like you say take take it on board and, and find out for yourselves but we do know what we're talking about don't we Wendy and like if we can help people and make a difference that's what it's about we will, isn't it? we we will. will. so lots of love and light to you all take care everybody I will see you soon bye, bye.